What's up guys? Welcome back to the Trailnecks channel. Uh, today, me and Trevor, we're going to be working on his heap, his big junk pile here. My big old roll pile junk. Nah, we're, <laughs> we're going to be uh, installing a snorkel kit. Uh, his frog skins were ripped and he'd been getting a lot of water and stuff in it. And we're going to try to fix that and instead of buying his frog skins, he ended up buying a snorkel kit. So uh, he bought the uh, Warrior Riser brand off of uh, SideBySideStuff.com. Yep. So he bought off that website, and uh, we're gonna try to stick this thing together and help him out a little bit in the mud and stuff. I mean, you see the last video, he loves hitting the mud. Uh, so we're gonna hopefully walk you through this thing a little bit with this. Uh, I know we looked on the internet for some directions and stuff beforehand, and it's not really any on this kit at all. And I know the snorkel kit's not that complicated, but you know, for you guys that like watching YouTube to see how to install one, we're gonna try to help you out with step-by-step -step process. So. Uh, stick stick with us here and uh, and hopefully this will help you out and you know I called got a quote on this to get it done and it was quite expensive so hopefully this will help you out and save you some money yeah it was way up there he priced it he already had the kit and he priced it and it was well over six hundred dollars what they told him just to install the kit that he already bought so uh, for you do it yourself guys hopefully this will help you out and uh, we're gonna walk through and show you some of the parts and stuff right now and kind of give you a brief idea of what's gonna happen and what we're gonna do with this so Let's get at it. Popping the stuff in the kit. We've got it all laid out here. Uh, you can see it came with some instructions here. And it's come with your boots to connect all these. And it came with a piping. It's for the, uh, most of this piping I think is really gonna be used for the exhaust on your belt uh, case. So, cause you've got to pop it all the way around to the right hand side of the machine. And uh, hopefully it'll work out pretty easy for us. Uh, they also recommend putting some heat tape on it because you go right by the exhaust and it helps it keep it cool and not melt it. And then we got the, these little uh, tubes right here. It's gonna be for the, the vents and uh, hopefully that'll get it on up. What you do, you run it all the way up to the top of the snorkel because you, do, you don't wanna just put all your pipes up and then leave your, like, your transmission vents and stuff like that down low because you're still gonna get water on those. But uh, essentially, from what I gather so far, uh, you're just going to remove this. Uh, we already had it loose. So. Uh, and it's going to sit pretty much right here. And you've got to drill this out. But we're going to run into a little bit of an issue because he's got a custom cage on here. And it's going to hit this directly. So for us, we're going to have to get a 90, 90 it over, and then 90 it up here. But we'll make it work, hopefully. But that's basically what you're going to do on both sides. You will need a hole saw to cut this bigger for this particular kit because this hole right here is not big enough. Now, down here, you can see uh, little lights over there on jack. Here's the one going, the inlet to the clutch. So it's just gonna be right here. It's gonna be easy to pop it right back in. And then you have uh, one going to the air filter, it looks like, or the intake filter. And then down in here is the exhaust one, right here. It's gonna go around the front of the motor. It's actually gonna go all the way around to the other side and up to it. So it shouldn't be too complicated, but we're gonna try to give you some, uh, some idea of just what goes on in one of these kits. Yeah. Now over here to this side. It's gonna come up. This one comes right from your air filter. It's coming up in there, see it right there. And the other one is going to come all the way across. If you see it in there, that's where it's going to come from, and it's going to end up coming up right behind this one. So we'll try to get some of these steps done and do a little video on each step we do. Help you guys out. All right, 
So, so far, guys, we took the side covers off where the frost skins rest. And now we're in here and we're taking this boot off. So we just pop it off. It goes through the exhaust housing on the belt. These were the three items that he recommended to take off. So these are going to be probably your first step. I mean, that's what you're going to do. You're going to remove the stuff that's no longer going to be on the machine. This and the two frog skins over here are no longer going to be on the machine. So I'm just going to get those out of the way and that'll be our step one. All right, guys. So step two, we decided to go ahead and start here on a drill our hose. What you're going to do is you're going to take two Allen bolts out right here, out of the top of this, and there's a clamp right here on the bottom. Right down here. Yeah, here's the clamp where I took it loose. And you're just going to pop it off, and then you're going to slide the piece out. And now what you're going to have to do with this kit is you're going to have to drill this hole out right here, big enough for this to fit through there. So as you can see, relatively large compared to that hole. Uh, we're going to drill a three and a half inch hole, I think, for this kit. So we're going to use a hole saw bit. And if Trevor don't cry on me, <laughs> I'm going to uh, cut this hole out. So we'll see you in just a minute. All right, guys, so it's drill time. And we're going to see what it does. PVC pipe, and then this is going to clamp down on the top, pretty sturdy. Uh, but this other one, this is a custom cage on this side by side, so this bar is directly in the way of where the other one would sit. So all we did was go to our local hardware store and get some three inch pipe, and we just piped it over. We've got it mocked up right now, we're going to paint it black to match everything, but we just knotted it over and knotted it up. And this is where it's going to have to sit. This is the fact that this right here is in the way. So that will take care of this side. And next we will be taking the, uh, the belt exhaust from down there. And we'll be running it up and over and over to there. And we'll mock that other one up too. Get everything fitted. Once we get everything fitted good, then we'll go back. We're going to put a little bit of silicone in between each joint. It helps keep it waterproof. And uh, then we'll end up painting these. And hopefully it'll be done with this project. So we'll see you just a minute on the other side. Okay guys, so we wrapped this kit up. Uh, some of the last tests we had to do, we had to install our PVC after we painted it. Uh, it turned out pretty good, I think. Uh, other than that, we had to hook up with the differential lines in the front and in the rear. I guess over here I'll show them, and the gas line. So the differential line is gonna come right up through here, pop it around, send it up through there. The gas line actually runs right into your frame up here and it runs back, so we popped it in. Hook it up right there. Now the front differential line, we had to run up under the skid plate. And it's gonna tie in right here. So other than that, we just installed the last of the kit. And uh, if you wanna walk back there, Trevor, and get a behind scene. <clears throat> I think it turned out pretty good. Uh, I think all in all, Trevor's pretty happy with it, the way it turned out. I know I think it looks pretty awesome. Uh, 
the instructions was kind of a little bit hard to navigate. The piece going from the belt exhaust over that snorkel was a nightmare. There's like three or four unions in there and it did not have good directions. I mean, it had one picture, that was it. Uh, it had, uh, you have to also have to put heat wrap on it because you're going right from the exhaust. So that's another thing. If you do do your own snorkel, if you put a boot anywhere up there next to the exhaust, it does recommend heat wrap. So I think that's probably the only other thing if you're gonna do it yourself that you might wanna know. Uh, but I think all in all, this kit's pretty good. So uh, if you like this kind of thing, you know, comment and uh, like and subscribe guys and let us know what you think.